snails. Delicacy for some, bizarre food for others. In this video, Italian Grandma Lulu will show us how to prepare a traditional Italian dish from Umbria, Italy, near Tuscany. You'll learn how Italians cook snails in an absolutely delicious, irresistible sauce. Grandma Lulu says most snails you buy in the grocery are ready for cooking. However, if your snails are harvested in the countryside, then you'll want to prepare them first by purging them and boiling them before using them in your recipe. If you are interested in these details, check out the video description for this pre-cooking procedure. After pre-boiling the snails and aromatics, Grandma Lulu says she also removes the intestines from each snail before cooking them in the sauce. Super easy. Our snails are ready and it's time to start the sauce. Adesso iniziamo a tritare le erbe. We start with the aromatics. The base for our delicious vedere, snail sauce. Grandma Lulu starts with a half a large onion, then adds a few ribs of celery leaves. Here she's adding a few leaves of an herb that looks like sage. However, it's actually costumary, sometimes called balsam herb or Bible leaf. In fact, its nickname in Italy is Herb of the Madonna. While sage leaves are soft and hairy, these leaves are not. And she's also adding a few leaves of sage. Some sprigs of rosemary. Mentuccia. And mentuccia, sometimes called lesser calamint. You can leave this out or use lemon balm instead. Grandma Lulu says this is a grandma tool for chopping herbs. Time for the garlic. Four to five cloves. And she chops up those as well. Along with marjoram. Thyme. Finocchietto. And one mild red chili pepper. While most of the herbs you see here are optional, the herbs that this sauce must have are marjoram and finocchietto, or wild fennel frongs. Time for the sofrito. Grandma Lulu adds several tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of her pan along with the herbs. She sautés the herbs over medium-low heat for a minute or so, then adds the snails. Lulu says you can't smell it, but it already smells marvelous. Grandma likes to mix the snails with the herbs like this, as she thinks using a spoon breaks more of the shells. When the snails start to sound like they are frying, it's time to add the tomato. Prima il concentrato. Tomato paste. Poi mettiamo la polpa di pomodoro. Crushed tomatoes. And puree. Le lumache devono essere coperte perché... The snails need to be covered in sauce because they need to cook at least an hour and a half. Grandma adds a bit of water. Mettiamo l'acqua about a cup or as much as is needed to create a liquidy sauce like this. Le vostre lumache dovranno essere coperte e avere questa liquidità che poi a fine cottura sarà andata via. Some black pepper. Mettiamo il sale giusto per il A few pinches of salt to taste and a quick stir. Metterlo dopo si può mettere Se invece lo facciamo salato, addio. She covers and cooks over medium heat for an hour and a half. If you like Grandma's Dutch oven, check the video description to learn more. Un'ora d'orbi. Ultima cosa da fare. 
Grandma says the last thing to do is to create a flavorful thickener for our finished sauce. She says this is Grandma's secret. A few tablespoons of breadcrumbs blended with a couple of anchovies and a bit of the snail sauce. And when the sauce is finished, she has the thickener to it and leaves it covered for a few minutes before serving. Serve a densare un pochino il tutto. Time to taste. E adesso facciamo una bella porzione delle nostre stupende luma. Grandma was happy to volunteer. Un piatto veramente saporito e gustosissimo. Provatelo. Let Grandma know that you like her video by clicking the thumbs up and leaving her a comment. Si prendono. Si tirano fuori. E poi si dice, mmm, che meraviglia. And of course, you'll need some fresh bread to make a scarpetta. No bella scarpetta. Oh, si. Mmm. Un meraviglioso sapore. E buon appetito. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell, she says because she has a lot more recipes to share. What do you think? Snails, bizarre food or not?